Thank you for joining us for Wednesday's Living Word for today. And we have Alexander sharing again on spirit, soul, and body, and the revelation that he's received and the difference it's made in his life. Welcome again, Alexander. Thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you. Um, kind of just continuing on what we've been talking about. Um, in this video, I kind of wanted to talk about, like, we should be walking by the Spirit and why that, like, the Bible calls us to that and why that's important. I wanted to start in Romans 8. It talks a lot about walking by the Spirit and not by the flesh. Um, the verse I want to key in is 5 and 6, where it says, For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Um, a few things to break down that I've been learning about that is, is carnal is living by your five senses, which is very much in the natural realm. And that can lead to a lot of destruction within your life. Um, just situations for you could be very bad. Um, but to be live by the Spirit, it says to live by the Spirit is life and peace. When we live by the Spirit of God that's within us, that completely sealed Spirit, the things of the Spirit, like the fruits of the Spirit, are going to come forth within our life. And the Bible calls us to live by the Spirit and not by the things of this world. So that's why it's important, important to walk by the Spirit. And then even later on in, um, in 7 and 8, it says, that to Because carnally minded is enmity, uh, enmity against God. And enmity is like, means to strongly oppose. When we actually live by our flesh, we are strongly opposing what God has for us. It's, it's, that's, why, that's another reason it's so important to that we're, we're conscious to walk by our spirit because we do not want to oppose God. God has the best intentions for us. He's a loving God that wants the very best for us. And so when, when we live by that spirit, we are able to bring about those things without going and opposing God. When you oppose God, could we say you're opposing the word? Yeah, that's exactly it. The Word tells us, like all through Romans 8 here, that we need to be living by our spirit, not by our flesh. And so when, you, when you're opposing God's Word, you're, just, you're, in, you're opening up the, yourself to Satan's attacks. Mm. Mm -hmm. So if we're opposing the Word and we open ourselves up to Satan's attacks, would that be the attack coming to the mind and affecting our physical senses? Yeah, that's exactly it. When you live by the Spirit, that spirit is going to come out into the natural and you're going to be able to see those fruits of the spirit, as I mentioned earlier, come to life with, uh, within your natural senses and within your mind. Satan's coming to deceive us and his biggest, that's his biggest weapon is deception. So just cast that, those strongholds down and those thoughts within our mind with the power we have from our spirit is, is a key to success for sure. Praise God. You have another scripture here, Alexander, Romans 8, 11. Do you want to read that one for yeah, us? Yeah, absolutely. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. When we live by that spirit, it's going to quicken our mortal bodies. It's going to help us to be succeed. It's going to help us to have that wisdom of God so we in, in the natural can succeed. Awesome. Thank you, Alexander. Mm -hmm. Join us tomorrow. And we will continue this teaching, Spirit, Soul, and Body.